Look, Mitch McConnell's a disaster. The Republicans have to get a new leader. Mitch McConnell allowed this to happen. The infrastructure bill, I call it infrastructure, not infrastructure. It's only 9% infrastructure. So that means you take 90%, 91% of the money that we're raising is going to be thrown out the window in order to get 9% infrastructure. There was no way that that should have been passed. Should have been 100% for infrastructure. So what's happening is we had a thing called the debt ceiling. And he could have used that to win everything, and he chose not to. And we have a bigger problem, because they have a so-called voting rights bill, which is a voting rights for Democrats, because Republicans will never be elected again if that happens, if that passes. Let me ask you about all of these people that you've been supporting recently. We're entering the uh, election year, the primaries in March. Um, you've already endorsed several candidates for re-election. What are you looking for? Let's go through some of these contests that are toss-ups. Senator Mark Kelly in Arizona, Senator Raphael Warnock, Georgia, Catherine Cortez Mastro, Nevada, uh, Maggie Hassan, New Hampshire. What, do you, what are your They're thoughts? a disaster. They're for open borders. They're for defunding the police. They're for crime. In other words, they're for crime. They're for taking away your Second Amendment. So they want to take away your police and then take away your right to protect yourself. When you think of it, right? These people are a disaster, and they should all lose. And we have some great candidates. And sometimes I'm going a little outside of the box with some, because we have candidates that are not strong. They're rhinos, and they're not strong. They're Mitch McConnell-type guys, and he's a disaster. So we need tougher people. We need people that are going to be able to win for our country. Not win for me, by the way. Win for our country. And we have some great candidates. The other day, Hillary Clinton said that if you win again, it is the end of democracy. Will this be a rematch? Oh, I have no idea. I hope so. I mean, I'd like that. But, but look, the woman's crooked as can be. She cheated on the election. They spied on my campaign. Remember, I put out that little statement. They're spying on my campaign, and all hell broke out. You know why it broke out? Because they knew I was right. They knew I was right. And all of these things that happened, and we caught him. Let's see what happens now. Let's see what happens to Hunter. Let's see what happens to all of it. Just today, he called Kamala Harris president again. Oh. Do you think someone else is directing him? Well, I never called Mike Pence president. I'll tell you, I, I can't imagine what's going on. It's hard to believe. Who's but running the country? It. Well, think of it. It was so obvious in this case, because 450,000, he was incensed. He was very upset by that question, asked by a very good reporter, actually. But he was very angry at that question. Like, how dare you? What a stupid question. Of course, the next morning, he was saying how, yeah, this is something that we think is excellent. That really means, in the truest sense, that he is not running the country. Because there's no way you go from indignation to, oh, that's wonderful. And I hope you had a good interview. What do you think the strategy is around the border? Two million people apprehended this year, 600,000 others getting away. The amount of illicit narcotics coming in is incredible. Fentanyl, we had 100,000 overdoses just yeah. in the last year, hundreds largely of due thousands, to fentanyl. Hundreds of thousands, 100,000, but hundreds of thousands of people are dying. You know, if this were a war, and if we lost two, 300,000, because I think that's the real number with drugs, and much of it's coming through the southern border. There's never been a war that anybody lost numbers like this. We're losing hundreds of thousands of people a year to drugs. We had it at a level that they haven't seen in years because they couldn't get in. And when, when we have an open border, we're not just talking about the people, as we said. We're talking about the drugs that are coming in, the human trafficking, mostly in women. They traffic in women, children to a much lesser extent. But they, tra they traffic in women. And what they do, they'll put six women in the trunk of a car. I mean, what they do, these are animals. And we had it really largely stopped. It would have been just about stopped. And then these people got into office and they've destroyed it. They're destroying our country.